Hey guys, what's up? Time for another Game Theory video. Remember, if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you can. Links in the description. I appreciate it. Some people like hearing me talk about sometimes about what I would change about Dragon Ball Fighters. It's always the same topic. It always it, the, the opinion is not changed, but people like hearing me talk about it. So, one thing I've always said is a, a specific thing that I think was a drop ball in this game is considering how, and I know this make, makes people mad, how good auto combos are in this game, the A auto combos, the light auto combos, they're actually really well done. The people that complain about auto combos in this game are, it's a correlation doesn't equal causation thing. They don't know what they're actually complaining about because they're actually, given the circumstances, really well done, actually. So something that I would do if I was changing the game, though, is I would make the medium combos also special right because too many of the medium auto combos are not special enough it's the exception to the rule when you have a character like you know trunks can do that or if you do the auto combo one oh then they go that way right that's the exception to the rule right that's not the norm i would make it so every character the second hit of their medium because this game is already so homogenized, right? You know what I mean? I've said one of the things before in this game is I would try to make it more of the standard that every character has at least one normal that doesn't move them forward. So stagger pressure is a little bit different instead of so homogenized in this game. And that could either be the character has a new miscellaneous normal or something like that, or it could be their second hit of their medium normal. The point is, though, I think every second hit of the me medium and the auto combo should be special. It should be a new animation, and it can even look like a an attack even if you want. It, it has to be something special because there's only only so many buttons in this game, right? You want characters to have a little bit different, a little bit more of a flair to them. And it would be so great if you could add something interesting. Like, let's look at a character like... Let's put him on guard for a second, right? Let's put Vegito here. I think a common thing that people say with Vegito, and God, it sure fucking pisses me off. Vegito doesn't have enough kicks, and he doesn't have enough lightsaber moves, right? Well, let's look at this character's repertoire, what he already has, right? You know what I mean? And we're thinking about we're making the game. We can't give all these characters too many new moves because we've got to make everyone feel a little bit special. What if, just for sake of argument, because I want you to roll with me here what I'm getting at, people talk about, oh, Vegeta's pressure in the corner sucks. You know, whatever you're doing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's just take this with a grain of salt. Let's take all the videos that I've done that have showed you can actually compensate for this in other ways. But what if Vegito's medium... The second medium in his medium auto combo string was he does that little ninja dash. If we're to look at Trunks, you know what I mean? Trunks has a little ninja dash where he goes to that side. What if Vegito's me the second head of Vegito's medium, he does that little ninja dash lightsaber move that he has in other video games? We've given him a lightsaber move. We've also helped compensate him for a, you know, quotation marks weakness, you could say, that his, you know, corner pressure isn't as good. We're giving him a little bit more of lure to games before in the past, right? Vegito's medium auto combo, the second hit of the medium, is he winds up with his little laser sword and he goes to the other side in the corner. Now, you could say it even acts as a fireball, so it's reflectable. You know what I mean? So the opponent can homie dash or reflect out of it. You can give it a weakness, but you're also giving him a little bit of a flare, giving him a little bit of, you know, a kickback to the lure, whatever, while making the move interesting. And you could do something too. You could say, so say if a character, I guess, you know, not every character could do this. I mean, Vegito could because he can like, you know, reverse speed or whatever they call it. So if Vegito presses medium here and then he presses down here. And then if I were to press M again, or let's say this, what if I were to do, roll with me here, what if I did something, I do a stand medium here, a duck medium here, then I do that. Now, normally I can't press M again, but imagine if I pressed M then again there, Vegito technically still hasn't used that second medium model combo. So I'll do a quick little ninja dash, laser slice, whatever. 
you've given him a unique normal, right? While also giving him another move. And we don't need to give Vegito a, another lightsaber move. You know, I mean, we could, or another kick move, but something like that, right? What if a character like we have uh, Vegeta here, right? What if Vegeta's medium auto combo thing, you know what I mean? He kicks you in the stomach, boom. And instead of that swipe there, let me sign. Is he not set the block? I thought I had no block. I must. I'm an idiot. Is it not? It is on block. So why didn't he block? Anyway, what if Vegeta's second hit of his medium model combo was? Do you remember that Majin, or when he was Majin Vegeta, and he like swipes his hand away like that, but it creates a big dust cloud and it pushes the guy away. What if that was Vegeta's medium model combo? And I've also talked about before. I would like every character to have one normal that is jump cancelable on block without sparking. So what if Vegeta's one normal to give him a, a little bit of a, cause he's kind of a bland character, what, right? What if Vegeta's one normal, his medium auto combo normal or whatever, he swipes you with his hand, it's a hit, and then it's a few hits of a dust cloud and the guy flies away a little bit. But on block, because it's a different amount of hits, you know, after the dust clouds, you could go like that, or, oh, the dust cloud there, oh, I'm on this side, you know, the guy's blocking that. And the dust cloud could count as a fireball, so the guy could technically still, you know, reflect it after the swipe back. But hey, he's going on that side. Oh, he's going on that side. Oh, hey, I'm here. Oh, I'm over here, blah, blah, blah. That instantly makes this character a little bit more interesting. We're not going through the trouble of, we know the game is simple, and there can only be so many commands in the game. So we're almost making the second hit of the auto combo kind of a ghetto, very versatile potential move. You know, maybe there's going to be some characters who have a little bit more of a generic thing, you know what I mean? Say we have Trunks, right? Because Trunks is medium, the special of the medium auto combo, maybe because that already has two different properties, maybe the second hit of Trunks' is, um, medium auto combo, he just does another low. So then he could do a low to a low again, you know, whatever. So then he has another low, you know what I mean? It's still like another mix-up, another low option he has. Not every character has to actually function as almost a ghetto special move. But you see the idea that I'm getting at? We could even go more crazy, dude. Like, imagine, look at a character like Nappa. I mean, if we're, if we're thinking about Nappa, is, let's say Nappa is a complicated character for sake of argument, right? What if Nappa's medium auto combo we do something crazy with I'm not saying you have to do this but roll with me here so napa has these kind of like oh you just hold it for a little bit these kind of like just frame combo boom, hold it just a little bit boom you know bitch slap the guy right if we're going after that that is one of napa's gimmicks the, the cybermen and these just frame moves right then if we're to think about the lore of the character you know, the character has this stuff in the anime where he kind of glows and he like he glows white with electricity or some shit. What if Nappa, when you do the second hit of his medium auto combo, he just starts glowing. And so then if you hold down triangle the whole time, he does a medium where he's glowing. And then if you press hard while you're holding down medium, he's still glowing. And that makes this hard do more damage. Or it makes the hard have a charge up just frame version. It makes this bitch slab have a just frame version. You're still holding down medium and he glows a little bit. You hold down medium and then you throw this fireball. Oh, then he's at an advantage after it because it does more block damage or some shit like that. Now that's a that's a very kind of, you know more complicated than you would think for the game, but you could put in something there. Of course, you know, I see people say, oh, I want Nap to have laser beam eyes. Okay, his 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 medium model combo, okay, let's just say maybe he shoots a laser beam at your feet, like instead of a laser beam to the sky, you know what I mean? But the, the point is, do you see, you could actually kind of make it almost a ghetto special move. What if we take a character like fucking Cell? What if Cell's medium model combo is he like actually takes his tail and he sticks it into you and it regenerates a little bit of blue health you know what i mean because he has some of these moves in other games where he like jabs you with his little cock and then he gets a little bit of life and say when he jabs you with this little bit of his cock it just gives him a little bit of blue life back and he throws you to the other side of the screen then you can get some corner combos or some shit like that more versatility dude right what if goku's medium auto combo was 
Because, you know, this Goku doesn't have a lot of teleport moves despite him being, you know, and they made it mostly for blue, blue Goku, you know, the instant transmission stuff. But have you ever played um, Dragon Ball Final Bout? You know how Goku, during his meteor attack or whatever, he kind of just goes into an instant transmission pose and the screen is just like, and the guy just gets hit like four or five times. What if when you do Goku's medium auto combo, the second hit, he just goes into the instant transmission pose real quick and the guy just get hit, gets hit by like five invisible hits, almost kind of like flashing like a, you know, raging demon or so. It doesn't actually look like a raging demon in Final Bout, but you know, he just goes, it's just like, tsk. He just teleports in that teleport phrase and you just, you just get hit by five quick attacks out of nowhere. Maybe that's his media model combo. And Goku, you know what I mean? Depending on when you cancel it, depends on which side he ends at that. You know what I mean? And they're all just little jab damage. It doesn't have to do a lot of damage. You know what I mean? Do you see we're adding in just a simple change? Spices up the game incredibly so. I feel like that is a such a huge drop ball that... You know, so many of these medium auto combos, they're not interesting enough. And it's the exception to the rule that a few characters have a special medium special out of it. And I think for sure that every character's medium should be special. You know what I mean? I, I definitely think... And of course, you could do it like this, too. So say, you know, if I do this, I can't press medium again, right? So say if a character was doing a duck medium right here, and then they press medium again... Then if I press meet him again, then he does do the miscellaneous normal, right? So again, I, I think, and you know, some, maybe some characters, like a character like Krillin, uh, I think it's vital that a character like Krillin needs a normal. You either give Krillin a character a miscellaneous normal that does not move him forward so you can space his fireball skips properly, or maybe it's just Krillin, you know what I mean? Maybe at face value, like, oh, what the fuck is Krillin's medium auto combo it looks so stupid he doesn't move and he just does a big attack and then you're like oh wait a second but it perfectly sets up the fireball skip every time do you know what i mean that is a huge drop ball in this game and i think it's such a simple fix you can add in a little bit of lure from the game without adding in all these other specials which of course like i said i would love to have more lure in the game and more special moves but at the end of the day you got to be like well we can only have so many moves in the game in the first place looking at it realistically so if we were to just to do something like medium auto combos feel special it's a lure, it's a throwback to something they did in the anime, and we're giving it different versatility. There's a reason to want to use it in a string. So again, and, I, and I've said before, another thing I thought is that if a character has a bland medium second one, maybe they can always jump cancel it, right? Like maybe Vegito, you know what I mean, since we're giving him a cross-up lightsaber, maybe Vegito can't jump cancel off his, and Vegito's jump cancel normal is something else. I don't know. You know what I mean? But hopefully you get what I'm getting. It's such an easy fix that spices up the game. And that is a that is a very drop ball. Especially when I hear people complain about auto combos in this game. Which again, I've made many videos showing why you're wrong about that. Because you could actually make them better. And as long as you fix the foundation of the game, it wouldn't ruin anything. But anyway, remember if you like the videos, like, sub, silly, comment, share, support the channel if you want. I appreciate it. Thanks.